So the repeat of the 2022 Indian Premier League final was bound to be a high profile affair uh, with 81,000 spectators uh, occupying seats at the Narendra Modi Stadium. Uh, it was anyway uh, an electric affair as expected. What made all the difference for me was the sheer fact that uh, yes, obviously the three Rajasthan Royals spinners did make an impact up front because restricting uh, Gujarat Titans to a total of 177 was uh, actually uh, not a mean feat. It was a score about par, but if you look at the larger picture, they could have restricted uh, as a, uh, Gujarat Titans could have uh, jolly well uh, touched closer to a total of 200. The fact that that did not happen uh, was the first win for Rajasthan Royals. Number two, obviously, Shimran Hetmeyer and Sanju Samson made all the difference eventually. Shimran Hetmeyer did a Shimran Hetmeyer, as we can all say that. And thankfully for Rajasthan Royals and all the Malayalis all over the world, Sanju Samson did not end up doing a Sanju Samson. Because uh, invariably, we know this fact that whenever Sanju Samson plays an outstanding knock, more often than not, Rajasthan Royals ends up on the losing side. That did not happen. But uh, on a serious note, Sanju Samson's knock was the highlight. It wasn't his uh, hat-trick of sixes against Rashid Khan. For me, that touch, the typical cover drive, the conventional copybook cover drive that he played just before the uh, 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 mid innings time, I think that was the highlight for me of the night in, in so many ways. Sanju Samson, watching him, uh, doing the Sanju Samson is a treat for a pure cricket lover. doesn't matter what flannels is he playing in. And uh, we saw it in plenty at the Motera on Sunday night. That for me was a real highlight. Coming back to the game, I felt uh, what Sanju Samson and Shimran Hitmeyer's onslaught achieved for the Rajasthan Royals is more than giving themselves a chance for a comeback. It actually derailed the Gujarat Titans game plan. Suddenly, they were forced to bring in Noor Ahmed, the, the impact player, on debut. Yes, uh, he is uh, not a newbie when it comes to the IPL setup. He has been around. He was with the Titans last season also with obviously his Afghan senior Rashid Khan as his mentor. But to make a debut and bowl uh, two overs up front immediately when the game was about to slip away from you, Noor Ahmed did make an impact uh, with uh, his strike of getting rid of Sanju Samson in the first over itself is a big deal for a debutant and especially a set Sanju Samson. But eventually, uh, the Titans were confused. They did appear confused. There was a long discussion between Harshish Nehra, Rahul Tevatiya and Hardik Pandya during the strategy timeout which was taken after the mandatory uh, 16th over. And that's where I thought that if you look at the larger picture, uh, Mohit Sharma did not bowl more than two overs and Noor Ahmed the, was chosen as the uh, one to bowl the last over. My point is, uh, Noor Ahmed bowling last over with seven required was uh, okay. It was, it was as in, the game was uh, almost gone which Shimran Hetmeyer taking the strike when seven were required. But still, uh, they took a punt. But the very fact is that uh, Gujarat Titans were forced to think of not just plan B, but plan C. That in itself was a big win for Rajasthan Royals. And that for me turned out to be the big difference. And the other big difference is, for a T20 innings, if not setting a foundation, you need to start off on a hill and you need to end up on a mountain. Something like that just did not happen in the Titans innings. It It... In so many ways, it was an innings that was quite similar to that Alistair Cook 290-odd he scored against India. There was no peak in that innings. Similarly, the Gujarat Titans innings just did not la have a peak. You compare the, uh, the uh, graphs of both the innings and you will realize that the first half was starkly different than the latter half of Rajasthan Royals innings. Something that somehow did not happen with Gujarat Titans. They always had those odd little... Uh, peaks as such, but uh, never really kept on accelerating. And that eventually uh, turned out to be a big difference on the night.